Hello, and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Moby Yates. It's worrying to think that this may be the last time we get together like this together. I've really enjoyed reading God's Holy Word, and I'm preparing it in such a way that others can hear it as well. By the time you see this episode, it'll be Friday the 1st of November, the start of a new month. We're looking at Leviticus 15 today, which actually deals with some of the more private moments that every male and female go through at some point in their lives. In light of recent events and the uncertainty that the future brings, I hope you don't mind if we open with a slightly different prayer to the one I usually say for this program. Lord, I place my future in your hands. Guide me in the way that you would have me walk. I ask that your word always shines through at the moment that people need it most. Amen. Leviticus, chapter 15. He always spoke to Moses and Aaron, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and tell them, When any man has a discharge from his body, because of his discharge, he is unclean. This shall be his uncleanness in his discharge. Whether well, his body runs with his discharge, or his body has stopped from his discharge, it is his uncleanness. Every bed where not he who has the discharge lies shall be unclean, and everything he sits on shall be unclean. Whoever touches his bed shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. He who sits on anything where on the man as the discharge shalt shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. He who touches the body of him who has the discharge shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. If he who has the discharge spits on him who is clean, and he shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the evening. Whatever saddle he who has the discharge rides on shall be unclean. Whoever touches anything that was under him shall be unclean until the evening. He who carries those things shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the evening. Whoever he who has the discharge touches, without having rinsed his hands in water, he shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, be unclean until the evening. The earthen vessel, which he who has the discharge touches, shall be broken, and every vessel of water shall be rinsed in water. When he who has discharged is cleansed of his discharge, then he shall count himself seven days for his cleansing, and wash his clothes, and he shall bathe his flesh in morning water, and shall be clean. On the eighth day he shall take two little doves, or two young pigeons, and come before Yahweh, to the door of the tent of meeting, and give them to the priest, and the priest shall offer them, the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. The priest shall request cleansing for him before Yahweh for his discharge. If any man has an omission of semen, then he shall bathe all his flesh in water, and be unclean until the evening. Every garment and every skin around the semen is, shall be washed with water, and be unclean until the evening. If a man lies with a woman, and there is an omission of semen, they shall both bathe themselves in water, and be unclean until the evening. If a woman has a discharge, and her discharge in her flesh is blood, she shall be in her purity seven days, and whoever touches her shall be unclean until the evening. Everything that she lies on in her impurity shall be unclean. Everything goes so that she sits on shall be unclean. Whoever touches her bed shall wash his clothes, and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the evening. Whoever touches anything that she sits on, shall wash his clothes, and bathes himself in water, and be unclean until the evening. If it is on the bed, or anything ground she sits, when he touches it, he shall be unclean until the evening. If any man lies with her, and a monthly flow is on him, he shall be unclean seven days, and every bed where on he lies shall be unclean. If a woman has a discharge of her blood, many days not in the time of her period, if she has a discharge beyond the time of her period, all the days of the discharge or uncleanness shall be as in the days of her period, she is unclean. Every bed while she lies all the days of her discharge shall be to her as the bed of her period, and everything while she sits shall be unclean, as the uncleanness of her period. Whoever touches these things shall be unclean, and shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water, and be unclean until the evening. But if she is cleansed of her discharge, then she shall count to herself seven days, and after that she shall be clean. On the eighth day, she shall take two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, 
Bring them to the priest, to the door to attend a meeting. The priest shall offer the one for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. The priest shall request cleansing for her before Yahweh for the uncleanness of her discharge. Thus she shall separate the children of Israel from their uncleanness, so they will not die in their uncleanness, and they defile my tabernacle that is among them. This is the law of him who has a discharge, and of him who has an omission of semen, so that he is unclean thereby, and of her who has a period, and of a man or woman who has a discharge, and of him who lies with her who is unclean.